What's up, fellas? I'm on my alternate account here, Blight, playing Warlocks, Ninjas, Commons, and Rares, ranking up. And this is going to be game number one for version three of this deck. Getting rid of the harmonic balance. So the two new cards that we added in this time are Vampire and Dancing Swords. So we're seeing how they function. And right now we're going against Pirates, Warlocks, Mid Sore Feed. Okay, I'm gonna run right up with my imp because if he's gonna kill it, he's gonna use a spell. I, I'm the second player, so he can't coin out anything, and he did not kill it. So it looks like I'm gonna use grotesque offering here because that thing is gonna be a pain. I'm gonna say respect because that was I think a good move. Uh, I'm not quite sold on that card. Yeah, well, I don't even know the name of the card, but uh, gives my guy two upkeep, which, as you can see, I have only one gold here. But I'm going to coin out and grotesque offering, or else we're going to be way behind. Okay, so he's playing the pirate ramp cards and uh, his gold, gold manipulation. Huh. So he put us in a defensive position. Normally, I would play the Fire Drake and just move forward. Uh, if that Swordsman wasn't there. And I think I might end up doing the same thing here. Or I could play the Dancing Swords off to the side. And use that to kill his Swordsman after the awaken ability triggers let's do that let's try to control a little bit because we don't know what else our opponent has and now that we're ranking up higher i'm expecting to see more bomb cards Ooh, our opponent's playing some good stuff well this is he is ranked nine so he should be playing good stuff. This will deal five. This will deal another five. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. Witch Bolt. So currently we're running Witch Bolt over Incinerate for plays like that where I just had one gold extra. So that let me play Witch Bolt on the same turn. I'm not 100% sold on that card because just gives our opponent more cards to work with however so far I like it so far I like it so far we're running it <laughs> hmm. okay here I'm looking to lunge and hit the castle and kill that dude at the same time. And then after that lunge, I could tag team and play the Dark Spirit, but I'm not going to because our Swordsman is still at 9 health, and I kind of want him to try killing the Swordsman, putting in damage there. Moving our imp up, but not all the way up, and not through the middle. I don't want him next to the scout for him to AoE both of them down, and I don't want to move him up one more, in case if he has the dancing swords and kills the imp. Okay, so he disregarded swordsman, which I don't think is too smart, because he also just threw away his, his sea witch, unless if he's going to play murder or something like that. And kill my guy. He's definitely thinking something. Maybe he was thinking he had something like backstab and made a mistake. Yeah, he definitely made a mistake. Happens. Awesome. So we got him to waste a spell. That's That was our goal, kind of. I might end up bouncing out the imp here, though. 
And the reason for that is then I can replay the imp and use his ability. And our opponent's just taking a beating right now. I'm gonna run the imp up to that spot. So next turn he can run up and double fire whirl if he needs to. Because chances are, let's see, 